I am the greatest. Yo, what is going on you guys? It's your boy Alvarez and I am back with some more Madden 17. In today's video guys, I will be bringing you guys a defensive mini edge heat blitz scheme. Uh, try to say that 10 times fast, but today I'll be bringing you guys a scheme out of the Minnesota defensive playbook and the formation we'll be running is dime normal. Just a quick few substitutions I like to do at the DB position is I like to sub in my fastest corners at the three and four slot. So let's go take a look at the depth chart and see what kind of uh, speed we have at the DB position. We're gonna run with 93 speed gains and 90 speed Nelson. The formation that we will be running is dime normal out of the Minnesota playbook. The scheme is pretty much, I'm just gonna show you guys blitzes. They aren't uh, nothing too crazy. Uh, no A gaps, no B gaps, but if you're looking to get some pressure on the quarterback, maybe on a 30 long, just to get a little bit of pressure on your opponent, uh, this is a good scheme that you should definitely try out. Um, the first play we're gonna start off with is, and you guys gotta remember, this is just blitzes. We're gonna start out with Dime Blitz 2, and we're just gonna run a simple curl combo. Um, one thing guys is that this play is very uh it's very easy to pick up but i will be showing you guys a way to counter if your opponent starts to block his running back i'll show you guys an easy way to be able to still send the blitz coming in okay guys so what i like to do to set up this play is i like to base a line slant my defensive line inside and you see that guy blitzing on the right hand side i just like to make sure that he's even with the defensive line and that's pretty much it guys it's about three to four easy steps and you'll see him come through untouched this is the dime blitz too so this play is very effective um, like I said before it is easy to pick up but if you can mix it in there and get your opponent off it is definitely a good play to run so this is the same concept base line, crash your uh, defensive line inside and make sure that, that DB that is blitzing push him down to the line so where he's even up with your defensive line and the blitz should come in no problem well i want to show you guys one more time here just the same steps guys and i just want to make sure that you guys can see that this play does work one ran right let's see if we block our tight end so same adjustments base line, slide side bring him down just a tad and this is what they're tied with with our tight end being blocked and he does come in untouched there again Another thing that you can do with this play, guys, is once you start to see your opponent block his running back, you can bring the guy that's blitzing, make sure you bring him down, obviously, and then bring the opposite corner down as well. So you're pretty much giving him the same look. And like I said before, this play is universal. So you can send this blitz from either side with the same setups. All you have to do is just blitz that corner, but you're giving him the same look so you're not letting him know which side the blitz is coming from. Like I said, this play is universal, so let me show you guys uh, me flipping the play. And um, you can send this blitz from either side, which is the good thing about it. Same look, same concept, same setup, and the blitz should still come in. I do run this in my defensive mini scheme, or I do run this in my defensive scheme online. Uh, nothing too crazy, but very effective. We are in the same formation, dime normal, and we're going to be running DB blitz. Same setup, guys. You can uh, base a line, crash your defensive line inside. This corner, it happens to already be down, so all we have to do is just drag this guy down. And uh, we should get dual edge heat coming off here. Um, like I said, nothing too crazy. This is a very good play, very universal. Uh, we want to bring Gaines down here. We want to bring Nelson down here. And what's good about this play, guys, say it's like 3rd and 15 and they need to get something off. They need time for a play to develop, and you just want to send pressure that to get there ASAP. Even when your opponent is blocking their running back, you can see here we are blocking our running back, and we are sending a DB blitz here. One thing I do want to throw in there, guys, is when you are sending this blitz, DB blitz, uh, you want to make sure that you are using the person that is lined up to the running back because more than likely they are going to block their running back to give them some extra time to throw a pass off. And that's pretty much a few users to roam around but you'll see here this is with blocking the running back and you'll see the edge heat still come in 
I, I do not recommend running this play every down because you do leave a lot of things vulnerable, especially if uh, you're playing a very good opponent and they know how to beat man to man. Uh, this is a good play to mix in there to throw your opponent off their game. But uh, like I said before, make sure you guys are using that person that is lined up to the running back to give you a free user and the blitz still come in. Next play that we can run is the Fox Fire Zone 3 press. The setup is the same guys, base the line, make sure that corner that you're blitzing is down even with the defensive line and you want to drop uh, your left end into coverage and he will now be your user. Um, and the blitz should still come in off the edge, very uh, effective play. Just to switch it up to who you are using and who you are dropping into coverage. This is all edge heat guys, nothing cheesy, nothing cheesy about it. This is just good football right here, baby. You don't necessarily have to run the blitz plays. You can uh, run a hard cover to flat and still be able to send heat out of it, especially if your opponent is just throwing into those flat areas. Same setup, baseline, line, slant inside. And you can bring whatever corner you want. Like I said, this play is universal, which gives it a advantage over a lot of blitzes. And this time I bring it off the left side. And all I do is just give him the same look. Don't know which way the blitz is coming from, but I am sending it off the left. And now my corners are playing a hard cover two flat while the blitz still comes in. This is one of my uh, defensive schemes that I do run in my online head-to-head -head games. I definitely love this formation because it's just so much you can do out of it. And um, you can bring blitzes off either side, give the same look, and your opponent doesn't know which way the blitz is coming from. The only really option that the opponent has to really stop this blitz, especially if you're sending dual edge, is he pretty much has to block about six to seven people. Like I say in the end of some of my videos, guys, these are just my suggestions, my advice, my opinions. Um, you don't have to run anything that I'm saying, but this is for the people that need help and are struggling on the defensive side of the ball. But there it is, you guys, uh, my defensive mini scheme, uh, pretty much all edge heat. Um, if this video helped you guys, definitely uh, smash that like button. Share with your friends. Uh, if you guys are struggling on the defensive side of the ball and need some blitzes to get to your opponent, definitely uh, share this video and uh, give it a shot, man. Like I said before, this is out of the Minnesota defensive playbook. Very effective. Uh, it does work against some top players. Like I said, you do need to mix it in there pretty good. Uh, just try to give them that same look. That's a big thing, guys, is give them the same look so they don't know which way the blitz is coming from. Much love if you guys made it to the end of this video, man. I really appreciate it. If you guys have any social media, I do have a Twitter. Hit me up at the Real J Alvarez. Uh, you can tweet me there. Uh, any questions, um, maybe you just want to talk, we can do that too. Um, I did start up a new channel. It is called Alvarez Tube. There I'll be posting pranks skits and the ultimate goal is to uh, eventually start posting vlogs if this video helped you guys or if you guys enjoyed definitely hit that like button and subscribe to the channel man for more content and i'll talk to you guys later peace